What's up everybody? Anthony here, Specialty Motor Car. It's got the sun in my eyes. It's a nice warm day. I think it's officially the first day of summer. I'm not even sure. Definitely feels like it. Anyways, behind me I have a long-awaited car that most have asked about and I really didn't know what I was doing with this thing. So here it is. It's officially going to be for sale. 2006 Cadillac Escalade. This is the regular wheelbase, but this is a very unique collector's edition. Even I didn't know what that was. I knew it was a special package, but doing some research, I found out it was actually a line item that GM offered for these cars, basically to get rid of a lot of old parts for the, from the Platinums. But this is a 2006 Escalade Collector's Edition. It's got 85,000 miles. I've gone through this truck soup to nuts. I've put thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of service into this truck uh, to make this truck that turnkey. Let's take a look. Let's get into it. I think you're going to like it. All right, so here it is. A beautiful white diamond 2006 Cadillac Escalade. Now, the first thing that a lot of people notice is the wheels. They always ask, and I've had many people ask, are those original wheels? Uh, you don't see those wheels a lot. Those were an optional upgrade wheel in the brochure for 2006, but came standard with this, quote, collector's edition. Uh, so basically what this truck was was something that GM jammed a whole bunch of special parts that were available only in the Platinum ESV Escalades into this truck, charge an extra three grand on the window sticker to push these trucks out and get rid of these old parts. The wheels, those were in Platinum wheels. The wheels on the Platinum ESVs are like the ones on my trusty Rusty. That is a Platinum truck. Um, but other things that they did to it was a chrome grill. That was Platinum specific. Uh, the platinum style steering wheel with the little chrome rings that diff, uh, cut up the leather versus the wood area on the wheels uh, on the steering wheel i should say uh, the vents the instrument cluster is platinum trimmed out just like uh, my trusty rusty is so i i saw a lot of similarities there and i figured i can't think that somebody swapped all these parts but i've seen these trimmed out this way before and after doing a little bit of research, that's what I found out, that it was actually something that Cadillac did to try to boost the sales of these before the new model came out the next year. Now, these trucks, I mean, they're not old, but in my opinion, these are the next classics. You know, a lot of people chased after the square body Chevys, loved them. Those things are big money. Now the GMT 400s, the 90, uh, 89 through like 98, 99 model Chevy trucks, Suburbans, Tahoes. These are next. These are already coming up in value uh, because honestly, these are the last of the good ones. And I know I'm not the only one that thinks that. There's tons and tons of people out there that absolutely adore this GMT 800 platform. Uh, and to find these things that aren't, you know, just destroyed by kids, or you know now by the third or fourth owner and you know it's a trail park uh you know queen or whatever the to find them this nice is a very very rare opportunity it's an eighty-five thousand mile truck um i've had this truck uh i think it's almost a year now i've had this truck sitting around i've done work to it i was going to give this truck to my wife so long story short my wife had a 2008 escalade she loved it loved it loved it it was getting close to 80,000 miles. I got a great deal on it when I got it. And uh, I ended up selling it on her like a year or two ago. And I put her in a 2005 Cadillac SRX, which she hates. Um, so I figured, okay, well, I love these. So she'll love these. Well, she likes this, but she really wants the older or the newer style that I got her before with the backup camera and some of the more modern features. So, you know, I didn't really want to pot with this because I knew how rare it was to find one this nice. It still has rocker panels, you know, and is in as clean of condition. So I kind of dragged my feet, dragged my feet, and you know what? Um, I'm not going to keep it for myself. I want the ESV Platinum. I'd like to find one. If it was an ESV, I'd definitely be driving it myself. So I finished the service work, and here it is for sale. I've gone through this truck. I mean, I've done everything to this thing, thousands and thousands, like I said. Uh, I'll ramble all that stuff off after, but you can see it's a beautiful white diamond, very classic Cadillac color. It's got a two-tone, like almost looks like a goldish mustard color with a burgundy 
uh, lower pinstripe. Uh, that was on the truck. Probably wouldn't have been a color I would have picked uh, if it wasn't already on the truck, but it actually does look pretty good. Um, it's a little weak in a few spots, but it really, uh, you don't see pinstripes a lot on these and it really actually looks pretty good. It's got the chrome exhaust tip like the Platinums do. Uh, body on this truck is very, very straight. You come down the side here and I, I've had, uh, I've had my eyes and my hands over this whole truck multiple times. It's in really, really nice shape. Um, you know, just a few minor dings, nothing really too crazy. I should probably stop back up at the front where I started before I kept rambling. I do know it's got two little chips, one right there, one right there that were touched up. Come down, the fender here. Brand new set of uh, Mastercraft Coursers. Uh, these are really nice tires, real chunky rubber. Like I said, I just put those on. Those are 20 inch wheels, GM 20 inch wheels. Really nice shape in all the pockets. The only spot on all four wheels is these um, lug holes or lug pockets. You can see a little bit of corrosion starting. Uh, did four new tires, all new tire pressure monitor sensors in every wheel. Uh, mirror on this side is in nice shape. Uh, I did just put a brand new windshield in this truck. New wiper blades. Uh, so glass in the front's brand new. All the glass on the side is in really nice shape. Uh, a little bit of a divot right there that was touched up on that door molding. Very, very small little rub mark actually that comes out. That might have been a little bit of kick up from the tire shine. Uh, it's got the beautiful chrome door handles. All the color matched uh, handle pockets. Come down the side here. Show you how clean this thing is. I mean, this truck is just super, super clean. You can tell it was definitely not owned by you know, a family with kids because the door edge is not all dinged up, not all dinged up here. Um, you know, all the door edges themselves aren't chipped from opening the doors into other people's cars. Uh, beautiful running boards. Like I said, it's super solid truck, nice clean rocker panels. Uh, another 20 inch with a brand new Corsair. And again, just in these little pockets here. Uh, looks like I missed a couple spots cleaning in these pockets, but the wheels themselves are nice. The insides are nice. They're not all corroded on the inside. Just those lug pockets uh, show some chrome lifting. Uh, it's got the chrome exhaust tip. I believe that was a platinum specific part and then shared with this collector's edition. Uh, LED third brake light, which I had replaced. They're not available new, but I got a nice used working one. Uh, this one had a little bit of a crack in it. Uh, the thing I like about the 06s as well, different than the newer version or the older versions, is it has this, you know, really clean pane of glass with the handle in the middle here, where the older ones, I think like 02 to maybe 04, I don't know if 05 was like this or not, but they had a rubber that went around the window and the handle was integrated into the rubber. I like this style better. Um, rear bumper is in super nice shape it's got the rear parking sensors a couple little scuffs and chips uh, there it's got a trailer hitch factory installed got a little chip right there uh, step pads are all in nice shape not all bleached out a little bit of a chip or a mark there uh, the tailgate is super super nice again not dinged up there's no scratch marks from some lady leaving it in her garage. And you see those lines that come down the back of SUVs. That's from garage door openers. I even went as far as putting uh, new emblems on the front and rear. These are super common to fade out. And just that little touch, those emblem, emblems are like three or 400 bucks, but that original look nice and crisp makes it really look nice. Uh, another big important thing with these trucks is all around here. Now you can see here how clean this one is. These are aluminum tailgates and these aluminum tailgates are very, very prone to aluminum corrosion, not rust, but aluminum corrosion. Uh, this tailgate has zero corrosion, even on the inside jam. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, come around here. A few little chips on the bottom of this quarter. I don't know if these are rock chips that were touched up here, here. Um, tail lights are in nice shape. This would be the D pillar, A, B, C, D. Uh, all those are in nice shape. Come up around the top here. Again, glass is in nice shape. 
This quarter shows really well. Gas door still even has a little lanyard there so you don't bang it against the quarter when you're putting gas in it. Come down this door here. It's in nice shape as well. Cladding. Got a very, very minor little chip right there. A couple little ones right there on the door edge. Kind of a common spot to probably catch. Again, really clean. One little one there, one little one there. I had the painless dent repair service come in and work a few little minor dings out of this truck. Uh, one, two, three little chips in this mirror cover. Factory sunroof. Even though inside the wheel wells are super clean. Forgot to show you this wheel. Uh, again, brand new Corsair Mastercraft tire. Uh, wheels are in nice shape. You can see, again, like I said, inside the pockets of these lugs are just starting to... Uh, road just a little bit in here is all these pockets are nice and clean bottom of the quarters are nice rocker running board uh, this wheel has a little bit of bubbling I remember this one here and those two pockets right there but again those five or six uh, lug pockets inside well, it's nice and clean. Come down this fender, super nice, except for this minor chip there, and then three little chips. Something must have kind of just doop doop doop. You see that there? Again, glass is in beautiful shape on this truck. Come around to the front bumper. Now, another telltale sign that this truck was loved and, and cared for is the condition of these headlight capsules. Uh, very common for those to be just crazed over and totally yellowed out. These ones are in really, really nice shape. Very, very minor right up on the top there. Um, and that's actually, that does it from the inside. It's not from the sun on the outside. Uh, that's a common thing for these trucks. But usually you see it all clouded out down here on my Escalade. It's like down into the, into the low beam. Uh, this is the Platinum Specific Grill or the Collector Series Grill in this case. Brand new front emblem, again, just to really crispen this truck up. Uh, I put brand new fog light uh, assemblies in here. Both lenses were just dulled out. A couple little minor chips on the front bumper, nothing really crazy. You know, this truck just shows super, super nice. Uh, and I know this truck is gonna be impossible to find again. I wish the truck was an ESV. I'd be keeping it and replacing Trusty Rusty with it because you just don't find them this clean on the outside or the inside and i can't wait to show you the inside of this thing because the inside of this truck is just in phenomenal phenomenal shape let's take a look all right if you like the outside of this truck you're absolutely going to love to see the inside of this truck and how nice this truck is now one of the things that people love about these trucks i know granted they're shared platforms with other gm trucks and suburbans and stuff like that it's very similarly laid out but the comfort of these trucks these trucks were built with cushion, with just the seats are nice and soft. The newer ones, 2007 and newer, I, I hated the one that my wife had, but again, I didn't drive it, so if she wants another one, I'll get her another one. What she doesn't appreciate is the comfort that these trucks put out, and that's why I love driving around in my 2006. That was a hand-me-down from my sister. It's got 220,000 miles. Thing is rotted out, clapped out, but it just drives so nice. And I think there's a lot of people out there that'll agree with me on that. So, you know, those little things are what bring people back to wanting uh, stuff like this as far as uh, not collectability wise, but just they want to drive something that's nice and comfortable. Um, all the door jams are nice and clean here. You get your door cards, door panels are in really nice shape. Imitation wood strips here, heated seats, uh, memory seats, power foot pedals, all four windows, uh, power mirrors. I think it also has the collapsing mirror feature where yep, the mirrors and power collapse. Uh, dash panel, yeah, it's plastic fantastic. Um, you know, imitation wood, but you know, just the layout of this truck, they, they were so, so nice. And that's why, again, uh, 
so many people absolutely adore these things. I adore these things. And you can see here, beautiful, beautiful leather. Um, I can't <laughs> say that this is original. Uh, this driver's seat has been reskinned in brand new leather. That passenger seat as well. Um, that's one thing I did to really dr dress this truck up to make it just fresh, fresh, fresh. Uh, you know, I did this truck really for my wife, thinking that she wasn't going to want it anyways, but I wanted to make it super nice, and I spared no expense with stuff like this. Uh, just the leather skins themselves were like $600. I did the installation myself, uh, but you can see here how nice and soft and supple this beautiful leather is. The rear skin here, all perforated, color matched. It's got the oscillating uh, headrests, leather wrapped wheel. Um, the I mentioned the platinum steering wheel. These little chrome rings here, the chrome around the uh, uh, gauges on the cluster, your little chrome inserts on these vents here, all platinum specific parts. Uh, my platinum has more things, different door cards suede here and suede headliner but like i said gm was just using up old parts steering wheels clusters um grills and stuff like that whatever they could put in them to not make them a platinum but make them something special and like i said it was three thousand dollars of an upcharge uh you have all your layouts of all your uh volume controls uh your source this controls all the readouts your tire pressures and stuff like that you can see the mileage there, 85,517 miles. Factory sunroof. Like I said, heated seats and stuff like that. Pop open this back door. All the finish is nice in here. Inside the door jams, nice and clean here. Very, very minor, just right on this seam here, starting to bubble. Um, kind of a common spot where this collects a lot of you can see here This is all like, you know, just grime and stuff. I mean, I cleaned it as best I could but uh, From collecting inside the wheel well there. I think that's how something like that promotes but all inside this jam Absolutely clean no rust and again on the rocker super super clean as well Back seat is in nice shape uh, These seats tumble forward now, when I did these seats, I know I probably shouldn't even point this out because most people won't notice. I worked so hard on trying to get this skin to fit. Um, the back, I just couldn't make fit as perfect as the other side. Um, you know, I guess the most important thing for me was to get the front looking absolutely perfect. You know, to get the uh, armrest to fit in there perfectly, and it does. Uh, it looks beautiful. So I wasn't really too upset about it. Um, you know, it's one of those things that if I probably didn't point it out, nobody would have noticed it. But again, transparency uh, is the key to my success. I have a little center console here. I think you can put headphones, it looks like, or something in there. Uh, it does have, this is an aftermarket Ray DVD system, uh, which it does power up. I think there's a power button here. I've never tried it. The screen flips down. I think the disc goes in the back. I do have headphones and stuff in the center console for that. But you can see here, even in the back of this truck, just really wasn't used up or abused by a family. All under the seats are in super nice shape. Uh, these guys tumble forward here. Very simple. Pull this up. I mean, all under here. This is this is where the the boogers and the Cheerios and all that crap get lost and forgotten, and just yeah that automatically releases this folds flat to access your third row now the third row is removable um, those flip up it's a 50 50 split removable third row a little storage compartment in here cup holder rear vents and stuff for the rear air conditioning as well you know all the upholstery on the back of this is in super nice shape and get your strong arm back up this guy locks up into place Right back down again, and there you have that. Come around the back here, we're gonna open this tailgate up. And I know I mentioned before, there's absolutely no aluminum corrosion on this tailgate. Right here is a common spot to see it around here, sometimes around this emblem. Uh, but one of the biggest telltale spots is inside the jam here, 
mine on the trusty rusty is just totally annihilated it's bubbling everywhere uh, all inside here this one is in really really nice shape all the jam it's got the little rubber caps that's probably for like uh, to vent or uh, drain water out of the back little pull strap here it's another thing my wife didn't like her 2008 had a uh, power gate it's kind of hard for her to close this gate so little things like that made it something that she didn't want so you know what it is what it is but we'll take a look at the rear third row these third rows are very you know hardly used um, obviously they are usable probably not the most comfortable third row but for little kids and stuff like that it does have seat belts for three a little lap belt there and then shoulder belts on each side uh, these are the rear floor mats the front floor mats are in the front i don't want to stack them on top of each other all the carpeting is in nice shape under those your accessory outlet these guys one two whoops and there you go those tumble forward you pull that third lever right there and that will uh release it i think you also have to pull that yeah need two hands pull that so you can slam these down um, but that's essentially how you remove the third row Close the glass down, or the gate down here. This little guy here pops the rear glass open. Uh, even inside all this jam is in really, really nice shape. You know, this is easy access for whatever, groceries or stuff you got rolling around the back here. Down in the bottom here is where your jack and um, lug wrench and all that stuff goes. Passenger side rear. Again, inside all that jam. Very, very minor. It's just bubbling right on that seam there. Uh, that's something that you're never really going to see come through. You know, that'll last the rest of this truck uh, with all the cladding that covers it here. And again, it's just going to splash up throughout the uh, driving on that, the way it's designed on the right corner there. Inside the jam. Clean, all in here is nice and clean. Weather stripping is all in nice shape. And again, let me pop this third row for you. Got a guy flips forward. This one kicks down automatically. I won't go all the way, but third row, headliner. Carpeting is super clean. Does have uh, right in the center here. We'll flip down ash uh, ashtray cup holder. You have your rear heated seats. Uh, the this little display is I think for the radio, headphones or whatever in there. Back of the passenger seat. Again, all the carpeting. Super nice shape on this truck. Again, it's the passenger seat here. Now, this passenger seat and passenger side, I mean, it just looks like it came out of the showroom, really. So this is the original skin on the passenger side. I just replaced this lowest portion here. So I did lower and upper and then lower on this side. Uh, and you can see how nice it matches. I mean, perfect. Leather is nice and soft. The thing with these is the leather is so soft on these from sliding in and out. Uh, these side bolsters are common to see a lot of wrinkling and stuff like that. So just to make the truck... Like I said, really stand tall. Uh, I went kind of overboard on this one. I like the Cadillac crests and insignia uh, embroidered on the headrest there. You have your visors, factory sunroof, uh, garage door opener, and then your rear AC uh, controls are here as well. Uh, dashboard is laid out a little differently. I mean, essentially the same in Chevy trucks, but you get a nice leather wrapped grab bar here all the wood trim stuff like that pop this guy open we have a factory owner's manual this car was sold new at Fitzgerald Cadillac Annapolis Maryland it's a two owner truck out of Maryland lived in Maryland its whole life OnStar uh, this is the oh yeah this is the operator manual for the rear DVD and this is the map disc uh, storage, cubby there. I got pens in mine. 
great spot to put pens. Uh, cool old school clock. You get your six disc CD changer, little paraphernalia, uh, paraphernalia, um, storage cubby. Uh, you get your uh, cigarette lighter, ashtray, and then cup holders. Oh, I have little coins in there. Uh, cup holders in there. I'll open that up in a minute. You can see here how nice and clean. A little piece of junk that blew out. Uh, nice and clean. The, the original floor mats are in this truck. Even the carpets underneath it. Door sills, phenomenal shape. Dual power with power lumbar. Again, that beautiful leather is absolutely phenomenally flawless. Door jams, very clean up here. I don't know if I went over this door panel here. You got. Discoloration or something like that. Your window lock, rear uh, heated seat, rear portion. Uh, Bose speakers again, chrome door handles, junk pockets. Really a super super nice truck. You can see that ice cold AC is cranking <laughs> right now. Let's get in and let's take it for a spin. Oh my god, this truck is so comfortable. <laughs> Behind the wheel here, before we take it for a spin, I always show you the key situation under the hood. I forgot to do that as well. Uh, but you can see here, it's got 85,517 miles. I do have two keys for it. Um, I had one key and a busted up remote. So I had two new remotes made and a secondary key here. And it comes with the official specialty motor cars. Uh, Keychain. No warning lights, no messages to tell you, you know, check this or check that. Uh, it'll tell you to buckle up and that's about it. Uh, all the gauges and everything work properly. Um, even all these lights. The one thing that doesn't bother me on my own cars, I don't know why, like, but these trucks, um, you know, all these little buttons here light up. Um, all the backlighting here, all your backlighting on your climate control and stuff like that light up and everything works. The only ones that I had to replace was these buttons here because one or two of them were half burned out. Like the program button was burned out or the seek button. And again, I went overboard because I wanted to make this truck just so perfectly nice that I even replaced these buttons here um, just so the backlighting worked on them. But if you get into my 2006 Trusty Rusty, Half that is burned out. This whole thing is burned out. But you have dual zone climate control. Uh, passenger and driver can set their temperature. Uh, rear parking. This is to override the rear parking aid. Uh, if you put it in reverse, you can see back there. I kind of lost it for a second. A little readout back there. It's essentially as you back up closer to uh, your object you're backing up to. Uh, that will start to read out. I already showed you all this stuff. It does have um, Bose stereo. Don't want to get in trouble with that. You have navigation, push your nav here. Obviously, it's an antiquated system. It's disc-based, um, you know, so that's kind of like old school and basically useless. Everybody uses their phone. Uh, the leather-wrapped wheel is in super nice shape. Um, you know, leather wrapped shifter, like just little details like this. Mine and my trusty Rusty is all worn out. All the chrome around this little ring here for the tow haul button is all worn off. Like just grabbing this and grabbing the leather wheel, it tells you like this truck's got low miles and that's what I absolutely love about it. Headlight controls, fog lights, um, rear wiper, stuff like that. And vanities, lighted vanities, I showed you all that. Let's pop that hood. Before I show you that, I do want to point this out here. Uh, underneath the carpet is nice and clean, original floor mat. This little guy is cracked here. It's been cracked since I got it. I did get another one, and that was like the last thing that I meant to put into this truck. It's at my shop. I will put it in. I just didn't want to drive back 20 minutes uh, as I'm slowly losing sunlight here. Uh, but that will be replaced. Again, if I didn't mention it, you probably wouldn't have noticed it. Pop the hood here, you got a big six liter V8, tried and true. Uh, I really like the drivetrains in these trucks. Um, they were available in the Silverados, like a 1500, you get the Vortex Max package or a standard in these s -blades. But very, very clean under here. Um, you know, very presentable, all the plastics are in nice shape. Again, platinum grill, headlights. Very, very minor corrosion on some of the 
you know, metal components here, a couple of nuts and bolts, um, minor corrosion on some of the engine block parts. It does have all new brake lines, uh, copper brake lines plumbed through the whole truck. Uh, I had that done. Every brake line has been replaced uh, except for the rear axle. That was in perfect shape. And they had all new lines put through it there. Uh, really clean, really presentable. Very minor service rust, kind of like right on these hinges here, a little bit there. A little bit of the uh, insulation you can see on the back there is kind of just, I don't know, if the first layer has come off and it's torn a little bit. All right, let's take this thing for a ride here. Now, in order to save time, I'm not going to ramble down my list and park of all the stuff that I did to this truck because... The last video that I made of the Cadillac Eldorado was like 40 minutes long and I even cut, you know, some rambling off of that one and it was still 40 minutes. So I don't like my videos to be that long, 20 to 30 minutes max uh, is what I prefer to do. So let's get this thing out on the open road uh, and I will show you what this Escalade is all about. Um, super solid truck, like even going over bumps and stuff like that. Um, that's another thing I just love about these trucks. We're actually going to take this one on the highway here. Close that sunroof. It does open up to the sky there. So what I do to this truck, um, let, let's start from somewhere. Four new tires, uh, pads, rotors. I believe I did one front caliper, brake lines throughout the whole truck. Again, except for the rear axle, that one's in phenomenal shape. Um, I did a fuel pump and sending unit, uh, put a new starter in the truck, a new battery, uh, AC condenser. Uh, she was, what am I missing here? I know I'm missing not a lot. Windshield, fog light lenses, um, the uh, shocks. I had all the shocks replaced. I mean, even the shocks themselves were $1,500. I put GM electronic, original electronic shocks in this truck. I didn't put like cheap aftermarket ones that you have to like wire in resistors and shit to uh, get the light to go out. These things just have so much go to them. Shifts through the gear is nice. Uh, I've probably put about 654 miles on this truck. That's my mileage count. Tire pressures. Goes through all the fuel ranges. We're doing 80 and she's smooth. Absolutely smooth. Uh, so all that stuff, uh, shocks. Um, rear air shocks. I also replaced the air pump in the back. Um, AC condenser. Uh, transmission cooler. Um, you know, like I said, I went over well, overboard, big time overboard. Emblems, you know, shit like that. Um, I just really wanted to make this truck a super nice truck. And my wife likes it, but, you know, she really wants that loaded up 08 to whatever, 14. You know, with power tailgates and backup cameras and uh, stuff like that. So, you know what? I'm not going to keep this truck any longer. It's time to let it go. One of the cool things, again, like I said, I, I went through all the buttons and stuff to make sure all the lights, the backlighting and everything worked. Um, all that stuff works and there's really no wear and tear on them. The only little bit of wear and tear is on this rear heated seat button here. Uh, but even that's pretty minor. Trucks, which is such nice, nice rides. I don't even know how I get back to the highway from here. Uh, we take Mall Road to Pelham, Pelham, New Hampshire. Eighty-five thousand five hundred and twenty miles. How do we?
brakes are super firm. Pedal is nice. Uh, it's on point. It's not. You know, sometimes when you do brake lines in these trucks, ask me how I know. Trusty Rusty has had brake lines done a few times. Um, it's hard to get a good pedal out of these, but this one is really perfect. Those are all the bottles of detail in the back there. So truck, uh, this truck recap 2006 Cadillac Escalade. Having a little bit of a brain fart here. Um, 85,000 miles, fully serviced, ready to go. It's a Maryland truck, it was a two owner truck. Um, I'm gonna be asking, what am I gonna be asking for this? 16,995, um, which to some who don't know the market on these trucks may seem like a lot to people who appreciate these. And I'm not trying to justify it because I really don't care. Uh, I've put so much money into this truck that I know it's one of the nicest ones out there. Um, and these things have been trading on like bring a trailer and stuff for like $25,000, $30,000, which is insanity to me. Um, I'm not looking to do that. Um, 16.9 is the number on it. And like I said, I've probably put four to $5,000 worth of work into this truck. Um, you know, shocks and all that stuff i just i didn't skimp on it and it it you can tell because you get in this truck and you drive it and ride it you touch it you feel it the leather and all that stuff uh it's just a phenomenal vehicle my name is anthony 978-930-1004 2006 cadillac escalate 16 uh, 85,000 miles give me a call shoot me a text uh, i can help get uh the car truck should say SUV. I know some people don't like when you call these things trucks. I can get this thing dropped off right to your front door. Give me a call. Okay. I forgot to show you one thing. I said I was going to open this little center section uh, console up and I forgot to. Um, I have one, two wireless, uh, probably battery operated. The batteries are probably dead. Uh, and I don't know what the heck this is for. Obviously, it's a controller for something. This may not even go to this vehicle. I don't know if it's part of that. I didn't want to throw it away. Um, controller here, uh, then some audio visual jacks and stuff like that. A couple owner's manual CDs, but I don't know if this is part of that rear entertainment system. Um, so I'll let the next owner throw that away if it isn't. Um, but that all came with that up there. One of the other things I wanted to show you before I end the video is the bottom of the truck. Now I can't get it inside. Papa Bear is inside putting a gas tank in that 77 Lincoln Mark V. So I'm gonna crawl down here and show you what it looks like on the ground. Now this was a Maryland truck. So it's not uh, per se rust free, but it's definitely not a rusty old truck under here either. You have, you know, built up rust on your rear axle, some of the rear suspension components, uh, very dry, no leaks or anything like that. Uh, all your rockers and stuff like that are in really nice shape. Come up to the front here. Uh, Maryland is kind of in between like a super rusty area of New England and your uh, Southern Virginia trucks and stuff like that. So sounds like the ice cream man. <laughs> And there she is. But before you see me on the next one, go over to my merch store. We had a great Father's Day weekend sale. We had a 20% off sale. Anybody who missed out on that, I'm sorry. But head over to my merch store. It's down in the description below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You see the nice cars that I offer? Me, Papa Bear, we travel. We're going on a little bit of a road trip coming up real soon. We're heading down to Florida. We're super excited for that. We're going to be picking up a car that I sold a year ago, and I think everybody's going to love to see that one back on the channel. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one.